And we've got an excellent lineup. A lot more women's today. squash coming Olivia for you today. Tesney Evans, she'll take on Olivia Blatchford Klein. That should be a cracker with the atmosphere here on the PSA World Tour. I think it's 209 if my memory serves me well. Wow. I know. Wow. That, what, yeah, just keep saying that. She's <laughs> twinkle toes <laughs> out there. It's because she does so much work in the feet, is it? I'm not sure. I, 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 no, I wouldn't, I I wouldn't, necess I wouldn't necessarily say Muscular. it's due to it. Yeah, to, to her footwork. But she has well, a high you, heart rate. If but. you do watch her footwork, that was a joke. <laughs> if you do watch her footwork, keep an eye on those little feet they do go, around they the do. place. They go like the clappers. Yeah. That's Hello. a prime example. That area of the court is a huge, huge strength zone for Tesney Evans, but also look at the way Whoa. Blatchford plays it. I really like her technique. I think she's it's good width. It's very. Oh my. Oh, oh wow. Oh gosh. Oh no, she's done her ankle. Oh. Oh my goodness me, that's not good. She's gone over good on her ankle. Physio. That's not good at all. That's nasty. That was really nasty. We've got to see this again here. Shona, who's the PSA World Tour physio coming. Oh. oh. Ouch. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Groans okay. from the crowd. That is nasty. Really nasty. It was an unbelievable shot to wrong foot. Ladies and gentlemen, um, sadly, Miss Evans has sustained an injury bad enough that she won't be able to continue the match. Very, very sad to see that with it. Obviously, any of the players, see nightmare in the ankle, and it's so easily done. To that ball. And out, six five. Effective use of the strings there, complete. Oh, very nice. Very nice, taking the pace Seven, off eight. very nicely. Well, mm. the mini break that we've had, or that was enforced with the cancelling of Hong Kong. Two game balls here for Tayeb. Oh, wow. What a get. What a pick up from Taheb. I mean, against most players, that was a winning shot from Robin. That is a ridiculous get, and she wins the point from it. Amazing. It's, it's more that I don't think she minds being taken to the front because she quite likes moving forward and moving full stop. But um, it's more the unsettled nature of. A lot of cuts on that ball. Yeah. Hello. Just clipping Eight, Lobin with the follow through. There's a two point difference here, and she's been somewhat gifted two errors from Lobin from somewhat advantageous positions. So that would give me hope if I was in Lobin's camp. It's a good hold. <laughs> yeah, but it's quite random from Tired. Very open Hello. squash. Eight, nine. It's open squash. Really winding up on that nine. forehand Game and then whipping it through. Uh, the elbow two, seems two to be taking over a little bit too much for Tayeb. Look at the elbow there. Yeah, that's new. To tie Al Tayeb's game a bit together, settle her down a bit. It was a longer rally. And I know she does like to fire it in, but it seems to have helped her. Not up. 
no end. Well, she's making the court big there for Lobben. I like how early she's onto this ball. She's a real huntress. Thing is, though, the errors are coming when there's uh, a big gap. So there's a bit of yeah. respite for. And she's definitely. Tired. There's definitely in the last bar, those last two rallies, there's more pep than the stat of El Tayed. She's, <laughs> she's moving to the front quicker. Down. 11-6. Well, the error uh, from Donna Lobben. <laughs> 11-8, 11 11-9, 11-6. Well, it's a solid performance from Norel Tayeb without maybe getting into fifth gear. But she was asked a few questions, she was tested, and she was up to it. So, First of all, you're playing very well. You ran into a buzzsaw tonight. But what I really want to talk about is your incredibly gracious offer and support of Australia going through right now. Can you just talk a little bit about what you've seen there, what you're experiencing, and what, what, why you made this offer? Uh, I guess what I've seen there is what everybody here has seen. I've been overseas uh, training for a long time and having to watch it all on the news from far away, and it's really hard to see the devastation that's happening at home. Um, it's just so many families, so many people affected, um, and tragically so much wildlife because a lot of the bushfires have torn through national park kind of forest. So one of the things I noticed that you did was you were challenging the audience here to go to uh, the tier Tournament of Champions Facebook site and you can go to the actual URL where you can contribute and to match at least what you've done here, if not more. Yeah, I mean, like I've tried to say to everyone, any amount helps. So whatever, if, if you're able to, whatever you can give is fantastic, yeah. Unbelievable how she just plucks these performances seemingly out of thin air and it can't be much competitive play because when she's off on a break or she's had a few injuries, she's not, she's not getting the competitive play on a glass court. But it's stunning. She's just a fantastic competitor. Yeah, she's got such a young age, such a wealth of experience. One, and she three. was uh, going around at 14 years of age playing. Yeah. Four game to Sherbini. It's good the referee Sherbini called that leads one. one game to love. So the Warrior Princess takes the first game here. Beautiful, yeah. Sorry, I'm just copying what you say. That was. Six, yeah, five. another quick attack. Further back on the tee, so good shot selection there. Unlucky, really unlucky. She had Shabini on the run. She did. Nine really eight. Very fortunate. It's it's taking a little out, bit of time eight. to regroup. The old tap of the ball on the front wall and then walk back slowly to go and collect it. <laughs>
Good follow up. Oh my goodness. She's got a oh. oh. Oh, put away. Uh, the Warrior Princess doing what she does, Eleven chasing eight. balls down Games even under pressure, and then when the opportunity's there, going for it. Trebini's putting any thoughts of a, a Dutch comeback to bed. Hand out, 8-2. There it is, Down. arms back in action. 11-4, match to Shabini, three games to love. So Nora Shabini closes 11 out. 11-4. In three games, a very, very good performance in the second from Van der Heiden against the current world champion. 24 minutes, three love. For a few years, and then when she went to university, she went and studied to become a physio. <coughs> so she went to Birmingham University, oh. I, I think. I think she went to Birmingham. But you don't, I thought she did. For but all. You sure it wasn't Manchester? And then the racket shape and angle. Temptation on that cross court volley, Nick, sometimes is to really try and force it in. Yeah, you're asking for trouble. If you chip that ball up the way that she did, King to King. King's King going to punish it. One game to love. Yeah, tidy for. Yeah, good switch Five, from one. King. Nine game balls for King. And out, 2-10, game ball. Well, Joel King. 11-2, Bit of a steamrollering in that King second game. Cortese obviously furious with a serve. Just teeing it up for King. Stand here from Cortes. Four ten. 
match ball. Still six match balls for Joel King. And delivered. Four, match so to King, King three comes games off court. 11 9, 11 2, 11 4. Relatively comfortable in the end. 26 minutes, three love victory from Joel King. Yeah, she's got good cut on the ball there. And out for all. Edge of the racket coming through towards the. Just watching again the, the heart takes rates a of, of. Sorry, Ashley. Of Madeline Perry. Go on. I can't remember watching a player where there is so much fluctuation. So she's, she was down in the 170s. Oh, that's good. Creeping up and she's creeping up quickly to the kind of 188, 189 yep. kind of region. But then just watch how quickly that drops though. 9 6. Trouble. Oh. She's made another error. My goodness. Well, this is a little bit unfortunate for Sarah Jane Perry. She tries to restrict to minimize her swing so she Ten doesn't hit. Pressure. It's a lot of pressure coming in from SJ. Oh, it's a great switch of back oh, across the well body. well done. That's a clever shot. This was a decent shot initially from SJ, pushing Neyla Hillis into that high forehand corner, then back cross court across the body. It's quite hard to see. And out. Uh, just creeping up to the 185, 186 mark for Sarah Jane Perry. Just doing enough at the late stage. Played the tie break well. To keep playing point after uh, shot after shot after shot, yep. it puts that pressure on. So you end up having to play four or five extra quite wit, yeah. yeah extra yeah. extra po extra shots, shots yeah. should I say? Yeah. And uh, it gets it gets to the mind that you get and a bit L3 irritated four. that you're not you know. <laughs> I mean, that's an unbelievable explanation. That's, so that's my first question. Second question, how would you rectify and remedy that? What would you do? A solo it, practice. Okay. Solo but, practice, racket head would, above the, the wrist. Technical racket head above the wrist eight rather five. than... So laid off. Yep. See that. It's going to be a stroke. Stroke to Perry. Oh, rather subdued uh, reaction from the crowd, not quite sure it's stunned to Perry, as to what happened, Perry but the ball comes out into the love. middle of the court. Yeah, it's clever, got what it deserved really, it wasn't the crazy world, she's pointing straight away, that ball should have gone deep from SJ. For all. Tries the old Aussie boast and it <laughs> just kind of comes back. It's good trickery from SJ. Backhand volley drop, just clipping the side wall, giving SJ too much time, too many options in that front corner. Three match balls for the number eight seed. Yeah, she's done it. Clever. Good injection of pace Eleven in the racket head there. Perry, Valiant effort from Neyla Hillis from Belgium. 16, but in the end, 14, the skills and the court craft of SJ just proving a little bit too much in the end. Quality game of squash to bring this uh, evening to a close.